Welcome to the dedication of Trenton's Telecommunications Studio. I'm Todd Chumley and this is Yvonne Russell. Together we are proud to be a part of this dedication ceremony. Todd and I have been fortunate to be a part of the pilot television production class. This fine facility has been avail made available to students at Trenton High School. Along with other students, we will be producing educational programming for the schools and the city of Trenton. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the Master of Ceremonies for this dedication service, the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Neil Van Riper. I would like to welcome you to this dedication ceremony. And I, first, I would like to introduce you to some of the people that have made this, this possible. Our Trenton Board of Education, uh, Mr. Typher, who is the president of the Board of Education, Mr. Wilbur Haas, who is a member of the board, Mr. Thomas Dickman, who is a member of the Board of Education, and Mr. Boyd Arthurs, who is also a member of the Board of Education. Also joining us today is Mr. Morris Blair, a former president of the Board of Education that served uh, on the Board of Education for somewhere around 20 years. And we're extremely happy that you could join us today. I would also, at this point, like to introduce Mr. Edwin Lopmanis, who is the architect that is responsible for this fine facility. Is Mr. Lopmanis present? Also, we would like to introduce Mr. John Finazzo, who was the president of the construction firm that was involved in this studio. The history of this studio and how we got here started a number of years ago in a rather uh, unique fashion. We had attended a school board meeting uh, in Detroit and one of our board members, Mr. Thomas Dickman, attended a session on cable TV. We talked about it, came back to the Board of Education, and discussed it with the, the Board of Education. And they gave us the opportunity to continue the investigation of having a color television studio uh, in the school district. Uh, Dr. Doyle and I then went to Michigan State University and conferred with Dr. Thomas Muth, who was the head of the telecommunications curriculum at Michigan State University. We also visited East Lansing High School that has had a cable television studio for a number of years. And after talking to both of them, realizing the problems that we were confronted with, we came back home and then started our negotiations with the, with the city. The council and the mayor and the city administration worked with us on this project. Uh, there were many times we felt that perhaps that uh, it wouldn't be successful, but because of the, of the cooperation of the council and insisting that the materials that you're going to be seeing today be included in the uh, franchise, uh, it started to move, to move in, the, in the right direction. We met with various cable companies that were bidding on the franchise, and then when it was awarded to United uh, through the city, we were able to have that placed in the franchise, and we were successful in getting this equipment. The next step was to go to the board, back to the board, and present this to them. And then contacting an architect and awarding bids for that, process, that part of the process. And then also the process of, of uh, hiring a construction company to start work here. United Cable, as you know, was the successful uh, bidder. Um, we worked with them. Well, they've been extremely cooperative with us, and um, after many uh, different kinds of problems that were presented to us, we were able to, able to overcome them and have moved to, to this point now. 
At this point, I would like to introduce the president of the Trenton Board of Education, Mr. Terrence Typher. Mr. Typher. I think uh, I'm going to have to keep my comments short. I saw Bob Bovitz going through the pages of his uh, speech he was going to make to you after I'm done. No, uh, I think basically what we're looking at here is a, uh, a new era in education for Trenton. And uh, I, I think the main uh, thing that we see in Trenton that sets us maybe a cut above many of the communities around is the cooperation that this studio has uh, bringing this about, bringing this cable program together between the uh, city council, the city, and the school district. And uh, we can see many examples of uh, what has made Trenton the kind of community it is with this cooperation. And we'd like to uh, give special thanks to Bob Bovitz and the City Council for working with us on this uh, endeavor. And uh, I think also we're going to see us bring the uh, Trenton School District and some of the services that we can provide home uh, to our community through this cable TV. And uh, there's efforts from many people, our, our administrators, uh, our leader, uh, Mr. Van Riper. And uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, the city and Joanne and, uh, and your company for uh, helping us out. Thank you, Mr. Typher. At this point in the program, I would like to introduce to you our mayor, Mr. Robert Bovitz. Thank you, Mr. Van Riper. Uh, you know, uh, Earlier when uh, they indicated, in fact, one of the biggest advantages of cable is we do have a little bit more time available. In fact, we've, we've been doing the uh, announcements and stories on McLeod lately, and the most you ever get is 10, 20 seconds on uh, television. And so I felt possibly we could come down and give some meaningful remarks uh, for a little bit lengthy, uh, lengthier level. And uh, he told me one minute, so. <laughs> As disappointed. The last time that the uh, council and the mayor uh, my, and uh, the uh, school uh, board uh, trustees came through here, uh, this was a classroom, a media center, uh, and, uh, and looked entirely different from what it is today. And we're very impressed by the people who uh, put this together, that designed it. Uh, we, we did have a chance to see the facilities, and uh, the uh, technology looks uh, Fantastic. I, we've, I've had a chance to see a number of television studios in the Detroit area, and this uh, definitely ranks among the best. And uh, it's not uh, a local high school, but a professional studio we have here. We're very thankful to United for their help in putting this together and the, the people in the school district who have worked so hard on this. Recognizing the people who have, have uh, uh, done their share and more than their share to put this together, I'd like to introduce uh, two of our councilmen who are here with us today, Councilman Joe Parekh and his wife Renee, and Councilman Jack Kripowitz and his wife Rose. We had several people involved in the production uh, in the putting together the franchise from the city, uh, and it would be really remiss if we did not mention the uh, great efforts of Roy Musselman, our city administrator, our city attorney, Mel Burley, and uh, our former grants coordinator, Darrell Fetcho, who put this whole thing together and worked so hard with uh, the representatives of the school district in achieving what we have, what I feel is a very fine cable system and a, and a, and a fine uh, cable studio here. We have a fine cable commission, a number who are, of whom are present here today, and we uh, thank them for their efforts. But basically, the message we want to give today is that this cable studio represents a vehicle for a new era in Trenton education. The city administration and council are happy to have been a part of the learning opportunity, and we pledge our continued cooperation with helping provide the highest quality schools 
for our citizens. And thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Mayor Bovitz. At this point of the program, I would like to introduce the, the person from United Cable that we worked extremely uh, closely with, uh, extremely well with, and um, she would like to fittingly uh, say a few words uh, to this audience. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Joanne Radakovic. Thank you, Superintendent. Mayor and Council, members of the school board, Superintendent Van Riper, it was November of 1980 that I had the pleasure of meeting Superintendent Van Riper, Dr. Doyle, and, athletic direct, and the athletic director to ascertain what the needs of the community, especially the needs of the Trenton school system were. It was through this particular interview with Superintendent Van Riper that I learned that two public access facilities were going to be necessary to accommodate the needs of the Trenton residents. Both Superintendent Van Riper and Dr. Doyle should be commended for their perseverance, their tenacity, and their determination to ensure that this studio would be part of the franchise. Subsequently, United Cable Television Corporation of Michigan was awarded the Cable Communications franchise by the Mayor and City Council for this community. This state-of-the-art studio is part of that commitment to the residents of this community. It was a culmination of efforts on behalf of the school board, on behalf of the city council, working together with the cable communications company. We are proud to service the city of Trenton and its residents. Public access programming will begin here, and this will be the seed for future public access programming in your community. I would like to keep in mind one thing, that we'll see many hours of extensive programming from this facility, and we at United will be watching you. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. I think that perhaps that at this point I would like to just point out to you some of the things that we hope to accomplish with this studio. Now, we are in the business of instruction and we are dedicated to preparing our students for entrance into our society. We are on the cutting edge of 1990 with our computer program that some of you have been able to see. We have over 300 students involved in our computer pro programming each and every year. That combined with this television studio that we are going to be able to at least stay even with this explosion of technology that we always felt safe and sane was in the future and now is here. Education is a process, it's not an event. And we are in this process, this new process, now with this fine facility. The studio facility does the obvious in preparing students for career opportunities in the exploding field of mass communication. However, it's still the vehicle to allow us to teach the basic skills of reading and writing and speaking. And as you look at this te technological dream, it gives the school district an existing system to help us fulfill our obligations to our students and the community in providing a quality education in this exciting field of telecommunications. Dr. Doyle and Mr. Kolchev and I have had an opportunity to be involved with the University of Michigan 
in four extensive workshops. We completed the first one Friday, and it was rather a unique statement that was made by one of the professors in computers at the University of Michigan that students applying to the University of Michigan in any technological curriculum 10 years ago ask what slide rule should I purchase? Five years ago, students ask what kind of hand calculator should I purchase? And today, they're asking what kind of microcomputer should I purchase? There is a definite connection between this television studio and with our computer center. As far as we're concerned right now, our computer center is far, far ahead of any secondary school that we know of in the United States. Judging from the young people that we have attracted in this course that started last spring, we started a pilot course, then there was such a demand that we ran a course this summer and now this fall, of course, we're back into a, a uh, as part of our, our curriculum. We have developed a basic philosophy in Trenton backed by the extremely fine, dedicated board members that we've had over the years. You don't get where we are by accident. But of our, our Board of Education over the years has always felt that we are not only the doorway for learning, but we should also be the facilitators of education. As I said before, that we are on the cutting edge, and we certainly hope that we can remain there. With this Board of Education, their contributions has been just magnificent. Our board wants to be the leaders. They've always had that attitude. And it's always been a situation to what is best for our young people. So the technology is approaching very rapidly as here. And we feel we have least have an opportunity to keep pace with it. The programs that will be available to us not only we have the ability from this studio to reach each one of our schools, there will be programs that will be originating here and cabled out to each individual school. There will also be, uh, we have the ability to broadcast or cable cast from each one of our schools. So there's a whole horizon of things that, that we are extremely excited about the development of, of different programs, improving of our, our staff through program development, teacher development, and of course the most important things are our youngsters. We hope that this will eventually, not only with our computer setup, but along with this cable television, reach down into even our elementary level. So with the help of all of these people that are here today, and with your backing, our citizens of Trenton, we hope to keep our educational system alive, viable, and meet the future with vigor that we've been able to do up to this point. So I'd like to thank you very, very much for being here with us today.